been in LA for a little over a year, so I'm, I'm sticking it out. Today I'm taking care of a friend's hydroponic grower. Hydroponic means oh, plants grown in water, and I'm just checking the pH, filling it up with water, adding nutrients, and replanting some things, but mainly it's just taking care of what's already there. This hydroponic tower kind of gives me my fix of gardening. There's just something peaceful and refreshing about having something growing. I think I was 12 when I first started really wanting to grow vegetables and plowed up a little spot and every year I would make it probably twice as big. So by the time I was 16, I ended up with probably two acres I was planting and all by hand, weeding, watering, watermelons, cantaloupes, pumpkins. Growing up, every one of us kids have had different passions or different things that we wanted to be unique in. We hated other kids copying us and mine was definitely farming. And that's always what I thought I wanted to do. Micah's now 18. I don't see him ever having a desk job. He loves physical labor, yeah. farming. He works hard. He yeah. is a very hard worker. Past three years, I started getting cows. I'm up to 12 and got some of them bred. Hey, cows are pretty low maintenance, as long as they stay in their pen. <laughs> uh -oh, I remember that. I really feel like that's, from what I knew about the world, that was like the biggest thing that I thought I could reach for. Go on. And now that I'm like out in the world, I'm seeing new things and I'm experiencing like life itself, there's more I can reach than farming. I'm not saying I wanna reach something better than farming, just something different that I didn't think I had the ability to reach before. Well, I guess I've done that. But there's nothing better than going back to your roots. Been living the city lifestyle for a while and now I've kind of come back around and realized I, I do really miss the simple life, nature, farming. I do miss all of that. Damn, that little calf has really grown up. Yeah, I know, she's bigger than the other one, I think. Nothing is better than sitting on a tractor and just turning hay over or baling hay or even just mowing. Like the smell of fresh cut grass or fresh cut hay is nothing better than that. Watching yourself a few years ago, yeah. what does it bring up for you? I, I was funny looking back then. And the fact that everyone was telling me how handsome I was, who do I trust now? A few days ago, Mike and I were in Thomasville, and there was this girl, we were walking across the street, and there was this girl that rolled down our window, and she's like, are you a model? I'd really like to, but like, honestly, I, I don't know where to start. Well, I know an agent in Tallahassee. Really? Not like super well or anything, but I mean, I can call her and ask her if she has availability to see us. I think that would be cool for you. That would be awesome. So, have you heard what we're doing today? This is hard to I watch. I heard something about going to Tallahassee, but that's about it. I'm going to meet a modeling agent. Oh, you are? Yeah. Okay. Micah tells me he's going to Tallahassee. No big deal, he does that all the time. But for a modeling agency, I mean, he's definitely a good looking guy, but I was not expecting that. I had no idea that was on the radar. I mean, you're wearing clothes, right? <laughs> okay, yeah. I mean, I mean yeah. I'm just checking. <laughs> the only thing I could think of was stuff that's really not good. There's underwear modeling and, you know, I guess I'd, that would be less so, preferable to me. I'd be like, why? why? Well, Dad, what do you think now? Hey, Mercy, modeling is being paid for looking good. <laughs> you know, the modeling industry is not something that Barry and I would pursue, but it's what he wants to do. I'm excited and happy for him. What do you think of that clip, though, like your parents? I kind of kind of forced them to change. Because I'm pretty sure that if we completely abided by what they wanted us to do, we would be the same and they would be the same. It's us changing that has caused them to change, which is a good thing. Oh my gosh, you're beautiful people. Well, thank you. Why am I just now realizing that she has like full on skydiving goggles on? Like I never noticed that. 
Micah, he's really handsome. He could do a lot of different things in my industry. So are we ready to hit the runway? Yeah. Yes. Have you ever been to a live fashion show? Yes. No. No? I haven't. No. You haven't? Ready? Good job. Slow down a little bit. Good. I don't like watching this. Woohoo! Oh, yeah, the girls are screaming. The guys are screaming, too. The thing I liked about walking the runway was acting cool. It gave me a little bit of confidence. Um, I know I have a long ways to go. OK, there you go, Micah. Good job. Wow. Jeez. Jeez Louise. It's really crazy how much can change in such a short time. You know, that was my very first introduction, and looking at how I was, I didn't need something better than that because I did not know what I was doing. I was so awkward. I had no experience, just completely green. How have you changed? I definitely used to be very shy. <laughs> I wouldn't really say I've changed that much. I've just kind of grown up a little bit. Okay, good. Modeling was the thing that really pushed me to get out of my comfort zone and practice not being shy. Good morning, guys. Good morning. What's Hi, up? good to meet you. Micah. Micah, how's it going? It's been a full year. At least. Yeah, how's yeah. life? I actually just got back from Columbia. I had a shoot down there. Oh, cool. Um, wow. Went down a path that I didn't see myself going down as a young kid, but I definitely enjoy it, and I'm glad that happened. Body is everything for guys. You're in great shape. That guy looks kind of hot. Yeah, he does. He's great looking. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, killing it. Nice. Turn a little bit this way. Yep, but looking at me. Nice. Nice. And kind of leaning your head back a little bit. Yeah, cool. Nice. If my younger self could have told me today something, it would just be to try to stay true to yourself. You can chase many different things, but at the end of the day, what brings you happiness is what brings you happiness, and you can't change that. <laughs> what is there that you can't do? Don't, don't hold back and don't be scared to make like a big change. You'll be all right. You'll turn out okay. Nice, dude. Killed it, killed it, everybody. Yeah? That's a Is freaking that wrap. Thank you guys for making me look so killed good. Killed it. Yeah. Yeah.